into the arena to the tune of Heart of Oak, the competing crews line up with their guns and limbers on the starting line. The field gun competition dates back to 1907. A thousand volunteers are considered and slimmed down to three crews of 18. Serious training lasts only nine weeks and crew's height and age varies considerably. Lieutenant Commander Ken Mathers lights the thunder flash to signal the start between Devonport near side and Portsmouth on the far side. Battle Commander has ignited the thunder flash, the bugle falls. And away go the crews on the first stage of the run this afternoon. Now I was down at the wide road end, everything, men, guns, limbers, all go over the home walls. In the centre of the arena now, the sheer legs are set up, and on top go the 28-foot spars, which help to carry the first two men of each of the, the crews across the chasm. They're followed by the 10-foot spars. There you see the 10-foot spars will be slotted securely into the ramps on what is known as the enemy side of the chasm. Up go the wires, on the wires the travellers, and over on the travellers go men with wheels. The wheels weigh 120 pounds each, then the limbers follow. The gun barrels, you see one of the barrels crossing on the Portland side of the arena at the moment. The gun barrels weigh more than 900 pounds each. in three parts shows Devonport in the lead on the first stage, the run out. And here they go on the second stage in response to the bugle call. Everything now over the enemy walls. And the winner of the first two men of each of the crews has crossed the chasm on the trap and has sent the traveller back for their comrades who follow behind. The first of them with wheels, 120 pounds apiece. The gun limbers follow and see how apparently easily they bring the great weight of the gun to the top of the ramp on the enemy side of the cabin. The first piece of the gun to cross is the great weight of the gun barrel, there to hang suspended between the sheer legs to await the arrival of the gun carriage. And when the gun carriage arrives, the wheels are slipped onto the axle, the barrel lowered, and the gun taken away to the new firing position. When the flying angels come over, they bring the technical part with them, and when that satisfaction is completed, down go the sheer legs. The second stage, the run back, and Devonport extend their lead, with Portsmouth encountering more than a few problems. Once more, everything has to be properly prepared before the third and final stage of the run begins.
Portsmouth salvage some pride with a run home, but have too much ground to make up on Devonport, who await their winning time. A four-minute run was first recorded in 1948 and a three-minute run in 1962. Nowadays, runs in less than three minutes are fairly commonplace, the record being two minutes 40.6 seconds, achieved when the teams had double the amount of preparation time. The daily results of this competition are followed throughout the Royal Navy and signaled to ships all over the world. The result tonight? Portsmouth, 3 minutes 7.16 seconds. Devonport, 2 minutes 53.75 seconds. With just a handful of runs left in the Royal Navy's field gun competition, Devonport took on fleet air arm and the clock. Their old and experienced crew were on the brink of history. Since they joined Field Gun in 1947, Fleet Air Arm proved to be a brilliantly successful team, establishing a reputation for professionalism and an approach to training altogether different from, say, Portsmouth's traditional and ultra-physical style. rounds. Devonport set a new run-out record with 1 minute 20.86 seconds. The world record was on. The run back. Three rounds. And Devonport's split time is 58.65 seconds for the run back, still comfortably faster than average. The run home. Fleet air arms sprint for the line, pushing Devonport all the way. The Portsmouth record set in 1984 finally goes. <laughs> Devonport split for the run home, 20.92 seconds. They've set a new world record time of 2 minutes 40.43 seconds. Nobody has ever run quicker, and nobody ever will.